let's talk about how to visualize. So I know I can sometimes come across as dismissive of technique, but this is just because I, I want you to understand deep down, accept that technique is not how you get what you want. It's a tool. It's not the law and it's not the practice of manifestation. Okay, so it's okay to use technique. It's good to use technique. Sometimes you need technique, but there is no best technique. There is no right or wrong way to do it, which can make it difficult because you have to figure out what works for you, right? So you, you just try a bunch of things. Anyway, we're getting off track, visualization. The reason I want to talk about this is because I believe a lot of people don't know how to visualize. Now, I know there's this supposedly a condition, shall we call it? I'm not sure. Um, that that means that you cannot visualize. I believe that that sort of thing can be overcome. If you if you feel that you struggle with with visualization, I believe you can overcome it. I believe everyone can visualize. And perhaps the story that you're telling yourself that this, this, this story that you, you can't visualize is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay, so first let's talk about what I think a lot of people are doing th that um, isn't really working. So I think people try to force it, right? And there there is value to like training your mind such that you control all the thoughts and you're very disciplined. Discipline is good, but you never want to force, right? Because what, what is force but resistance? And resistance, as we know, is a manifestation killer. I bang on about this all the time, right? And I'm going to keep going on about it because it is so important. You never have to fight, struggle, or work hard. You need to let go of that story. That is thinking that is bound by the physical illusion. It is not our true power or potential. Okay, so what I think people do with visualization, they'll like close their eyes and they'll sort of project what they want to see. They'll like try to force it, you know, from here in front of them. We don't want to force and we're not projecting. It's not external. So we're going to do the opposite. Instead of forcing, we're going to accept, we're going to allow, and instead of it being external, we're going to bring it within ourselves. So think of it like this. Let's say you're, you're visualizing a scene that you want to uh, take place at, at work or something. Instead of trying to will it to happen and like focusing on all the little details, set the scene and fall back into it. Accept it. It's just like, I mean, I feel like I'm gonna be known for really silly examples, but <laughs> if I wanna pick up this cup, I don't fight for it, you know? I'm not going like, uh, come to me and like, uh, no, it's a real struggle. Uh, no, dude, I want it. I'll just grab it. Does that make sense? It's like, it's, it goes back to what Yoda said. <laughs> there's, there's like a handful of movies that are just so profound and like the core of, of Star Wars, honestly, the original um, series, it's got so many gems, uh, similar to The Matrix. It's just full of, of beautiful lessons. So Yoda said, try not, do or do not. And I know, like it can be really easy to, to hear that and go, yeah, but like, 
I don't know if I'm gonna succeed. How can I just do it? That's it. You do know that you're gonna succeed. And when you know, it'll happen. So the longer you try, the longer you struggle, try to will it into existence, will it to happen, <laughs> the longer it's going to take, the harder it gets. Because you're making it harder, because you believe it's hard, you believe it's difficult, so it becomes difficult. Right? And then we'll go to the matrix now. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, so visualization. You're not projecting, you're not forcing, right? If you're tense at all, if this kind of thing happens, let it go. It's back here. Your vis visualization is back there. You're feeling it. I want you to start to think of visualizations, not just visual. It engages all your senses. So what does it feel like? Even if you have to touch something, you know, touch it in the moment, bring it to the moment. So you've created this scene. You're seeing your desire, but you're sinking into it. You're falling into it. You're accepting it and bringing it to the moment. It's happening now. Do you ever have that moment where you, you get lost in thought and, and the outside world just sort of melts away and then you come back? Like when you drift off into a, a daydream or something. If our goal is to disregard and not accept the physical reality currently in front of us and instead to allow a new reality to, to, to come to pass, then that's our process, right? So we're not blocking out the outside world. Again, that's resistance. It's fighting. We never want to fight. You're not blocking out the outside world. You're just letting it drift. It's not relevant. And the more you practice this, you might find that you can start to do it with your eyes open. It's easier with your eyes closed, I, I believe. But, you know, if you're at work or whatever, just, you know, living your life day to day, and you're able to slip in to that feeling a little bit, why not? It's good practice, right? Remember we've talked about how reaffirming is beneficial when it is practice, right? When it is training your, your self-image. So close your eyes, let go of the struggle. Let it materialize. So if, if you're not the kind of person that benefits from the whole disciplined mind, having full control over every little detail, which has its merits, but if you're not that kind of person, then let that go. Don't force control. Give up control. And in doing so, you will find that you have the greatest control. Sink back into it. Allow it. What does it feel like? What does it smell like? What does it sound like? And remember that you do not need your physical senses, your physical organs to experience these sensations. They're just... They're an, they're an instrument, they're a tool, they're a sensor, but it is 
the you within that is actually experiencing those sensations. It's not your nose that is giving you the sensation of smell. That is just the tool. It's the, it's the middleman. But we don't need the middleman because the middleman is the physical illusion. The illusion, it's not real. So sink back into it and allow the details to come to you, to wash over you. And you might find that it actually feels really good. It doesn't need to. Our goal isn't to feel good, but it's a nice bonus, isn't it? <laughs> and then when you feel that the scene comes to its natural close, then you can come back to this world. Thinking about visualization in this way is not just a remedy for those who are feeling that they struggle with visualization, trying to, you know, trying to force it, trying to will it. But if you want to get into a routine of visualization, but you're having trouble committing, I find this is very helpful because it's not a struggle. It feels nice. It's calming. It's relaxing. Sometimes it's exciting depending on what you're visualizing, right? But I used to be this person. I used to be the person that wanted to meditate, but couldn't bring myself to <laughs> because, uh, I don't know, like, I guess it was boring, you know, but when I started to think about visualization in this way, it's so nice to be in there. I'm not thinking about the clock, you know, I'm not thinking, oh, I need to do this for 15 minutes or I need to do this for 20 minutes because, you know, that's what you're meant to do. Well, you know, that's what I told myself I would do. I'm in there as long as I need to be in there. And I let it come to its natural conclusion, right? And again, you don't have to force the details. You let them come to you. And this is a great way to start to train yourself to trust yourself. I am very much in the mindset now and have been for the past six months or so that there is no problem that vexes me, right? Whenever I come across a problem, I go, it'll work itself out. I will find a way. I, in the day, in the day to day, the most obvious manifestation of this is just the fact that I don't ever worry about remembering anything, right? So if I'm, here's an example. I, I, I barely write down video ideas anymore. You can probably tell all this is, is pretty off the cuff, but even so, like I'll go to bed and I'll go, oh, that's a really good video idea. And I could set a reminder on my phone. I could write it down, but instead I go, no, if it is the right idea, I'll remember tomorrow. And man, it works every time. What I need to remember, I remember. Anyway, like we could go down a whole rabbit hole here of like mental training and, and, and discipline. Um, like I said, there's, there's absolutely merit in the whole, you know, training your mind, like you go into the gym and you're having full control over your thoughts. If you're that sort of person, great. Yeah, that works for you, that's fine. It's not the only way. You can, you can train yourself in the opposite way, by accepting, by relaxing into it. All right, guys, as always, take what resonates and discard the rest. <laughs>